What's up, nerds? Welcome back to another episode of Habits. This is episode four. We're moving right along. This is week two, day one. And this is the day after my SBD session, that squat, bench, and deadlift session, which it should be last. If you watched the last video, then you know I was pretty wrecked from that by the song I chose at the end. Those were my feels expressed from that session. And that kind of that fatigue definitely carried over into this session. Uh, but not so much from like a muscular standpoint, more from like a mental standpoint. Like I was just fatigued mentally uh, from doing so much lifting in one day uh, that I really kind of had to like get amped up. Like I had to literally like use all of my willpower to like just get in the zone for this for this workout. And again, like I carried fatigue over, but it was just mental because last week I hit 315 uh, for six at a six RPE on high bars. And this week I hit 315 for eight at a six RPE on the high bar squat. And that was under a, an amazing amount of fatigue. Uh, just so <laughs> I know that I can handle it. I just got to let my body adapt. And I also know that like sometimes how you feel is just a lie. Now, obviously if you feel pain, that's one thing, but like sometimes just feeling fatigued mentally, uh, it's a lie. You know, just get hyped, positive thoughts, and things start moving a lot better than you would expect. Um, At least they did for me. But on this day, there were some really cool things that happened in the gym, uh, some funny things, and you're actually going to see one of them in just a second. Uh, But overall, like, training is going well. First week is in the books. I'm feeling really good being back under the bar this much, and I'm excited. But I'll see you in a second because I had to show you guys this. All right, could you imagine going all video knowing that I had that clip and didn't show it to you? I didn't think so, so now you know why I had to show it. But that was less. If you guys watched the last video, he was the guy lying on the ground watching me deadlift. Same guy. That's the gym manager here, and currently he's off program. And so she is like, this happens. This is what happens to powerlifters when they don't have a program. So you need to have a program so that you're not hooking a slingshot to your chest and squatting using all the bands and chains and like all the all this yeah you get my you get my drift get on a program it's good for you even though this was just to be funny uh, which I guess makes for good video footage is what it is let's move on so one thing that I did in this video was I showed like literally my entire uh, like approach to the bar and walk out for every single set of squats. And I know that like kind of takes up a lot of time, but the reason I did it is so that I could talk about this one point here, and that is repeatability. No matter what weight is on the bar, no matter if it's a warm up, if it's 135 pounds, 275, you saw me walk out with it, uh, top set, back off work, it, th- I literally approach the bar the same, I treat the weight the same, like it was gonna be like a PR. And the reason I do that is because I know in my head if I can continually make it a habit, right? If I can continually repeat this process so that it becomes a habit, then I don't have to think about it as much. My, I, like I'll just naturally fall into that same positioning every single time. And that is what training is for, is for you to build up really, really good habits so that they carry over when you start getting to them heavy ass weights but all in all we had four sets of squats one top set three back offs and then we move into bench press Uh, and bench press on this day to me it was the probably what I actually felt the most fatigue in and that's just because to me bench press takes the most energy 
uh, out of all three of the lifts uh, to me. It might be different for everyone else, but it's just because I have to concentrate so much to make sure I maintain my form, make sure my elbows do this, make sure my butt doesn't come off the ground, that my leg drive is, is good, that I'm bringing the bar down to my chest. It, it's just a long checklist of things versus like, a squat, take a deep breath, make sure I you know, break it, my knees or my hips or whatever first, and then move. Uh, but with bench, especially doing all of these sets, it gets a little bit exhausting. Uh, and so to me, that's kind of where I felt the most, and that is why actually my bench was a little bit lighter here than I would have liked. But it is what it is. We still got it done. We got a pretty good bit of volume in. I think we had... Um, like four or five sets of bench total. So we had a top set and then we had four back off sets. So five, five sets total. Uh, and like it moved pretty well. I'm pretty excited with it. Uh, everything stayed in, in line. Uh, form didn't really break down, uh, but fatigue was definitely evident and uh, it is what it is. So this is the last set here, and with that, I'm going to leave you guys. I'll see you on Friday for the next video. Peace out. Stay muscular, nerds.